Hey Capricorn, welcome to Earth Divine 360, where the Oracle is always popping over here. For the month of May, Capricorn, you guys know you're my favorite, right? Okay. For the month of Capricorn, for the month of Capricorn, <laughs> for the month of May for Capricorn, there is going to be a limitless support from the universe. What that means is, there are going to be so many different things coming from so many different first of all i'm hearing like revenue sources for you so different sources of income coming in for capricorn different um avenues of money um so many different things that you're going to be learning so many different things that you're going to be going through and coming out of these are all positive things okay so many things that you're going to be clearing out People, places, and things that you're going to be getting rid of. Um, things that you don't need anymore. Physical physical things like, you know, clutter, clothes, things like that. You're going to be getting rid of those things. Also, people that are not on your frequency or your vibration. You're kind of going to be phasing out from some of these people as well. Some things have been a sacrifice for you, Capricorn. A lot of things have been sacrificed in order for you to get to this point where you're at right now. And some of you had to clear out people that were dear to your heart, people that you love. This month, for the month of May, you guys are gonna be traveling. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius, uh, another Capricorn, Aquarius, or a Leo. You guys are gonna be traveling. And through your expeditions of traveling, there is going to be something that is learned because you have Saturn here and Saturn, big daddy Saturn is all about lessons, um, lessons that later turn into blessings. But these things, it could feel like a sacrifice because Saturn doesn't really play any games. Like when Saturn comes into alignment with your sign, be prepared for the whipping. But it's a positive weapon because it pushes you to where you need to go. Some of you may have learned a lot about your children um, this month or when you went on a trip. Or something to do with school with your children. Something that was learned, you learned something about them. Um, or you learned something new about your partner, the person that you're with, your relationship. Also, you learned something about being confident, more confident with yourself. Yeah, you also have Mercury here, which is communication. So, and then boom, Capricorn right there on the bottom of the deck. So you are more than likely communicating more effectively for the month of May, especially because you feel more free because you there's some type of clearing happening in your energy. You've cleared a lot of things out. You've sacrificed a lot. You, you just... You're here now. You're here, Capricorn. You have arrived. And I feel like you're in a good place in your life where you are exploring not only yourself, but you're exploring this earth, this beautiful earth. You're exploring. You're, you're, you're limitless. Seriously, you're limitless. There is no limit to the things that you can do or the places that you can go. You have the channeling card. So you're really coming into your spirituality. You're really learning how to tap into that energy. Also learning how to manifest and to get the things that you want. And to call on your angels, your protectors, your guardians, and your guards when you need them. You are the universe. Understanding that you are a part of this divine ordeal, this whole thing that was created that you are a part of it and you mean something in it as well you have a place in this universe we all do but you're understanding your importance hand in hand with the channeling card so you're understanding how to tap into that energy which is very important because like i was saying in the libra video that we are all energy everything is energy even things that we don't mean to think is energy everything is energy everything has a pulse everything has a vibration everything is alive and we have to understand that about ourselves and about the things about ourselves that we don't like that we aren't purposely putting out into the universe but we're still putting it out not even 
understanding that that's what we're doing so we don't understand the capacity of our mind and we don't understand the capacity of energy and what goes around comes around we don't understand these like laws and these concepts right coming into the divine masculine okay either some of you have met your divine masculine counterpart or you are coming in to the divine masculine this is seeing doing being this is being a leader this is taking action these are all of these things this is not being lazy this is not sitting around this is making things happen clearing things out that don't belong that's divine masculine getting rid of shit that doesn't belong there also seeing your full potential sacrifice divine masculine so you're coming into your divine masculine energy man or woman it doesn't matter Or for some of you really understanding the role of a divine masculine. Or spirit. For some of you, you may have felt like unorganized um, with the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Great mother. Um, for some of you, you haven't been seeing, you're ignoring certain signs, I feel like. You're not paying attention to certain things. For some of you, I feel like now you're able, like you have the communication card, I feel like now you're able to effectively communicate some struggles or things that you were struggling with you are able to communicate them this month you're able to express those feelings to others i feel like for some of you i feel like for some of you Capricorn there has been a divine masculine in your life who maybe wasn't always acting the divine masculine role or you felt like it wasn't going anywhere and for some of you you felt like you know I'm doing everything like I'm the perfect housewife who also works or goes to school like I'm doing so much like I work so hard and I take my time to achieve things with this nine of pentacles to me she's one of the best mothers in the deck one of the best hardest working mothers but it's like you're not getting any rewards for it you're not seeing the rewards you feel stuck you feel like your family isn't seeing the benefits or the rewards of everything that you are doing. But I feel like your counterpart is not equally doing the same things that you're doing. Therefore, it feels like you're stuck. Therefore, you're going to have a conversation with this person. Because maybe you weren't speaking up in the past. Or you were letting things slide with this person. And you're at almost like a breaking point for some of you Capricorn, like, man, I'm about to walk away. Like, I can't take more of this lying, this cheating. I can't do it. Some of you dealing with a Leo or a Libra. I can't do it. Another fire sign or water sign. But I can't do it. I, I can't deal with this, with the lying and stuff anymore. I, I, I got to go. It's draining me out. I got to go. Okay. For some of you, like you like to travel, but it's like you haven't had the time to travel. For some of you, you're already traveling this month, but for some of you, you want to travel, you want to experience that, and you're not able to experience because the person that you're with for some of you, it's like they're for some of you, they're moving. You can't get with the rhythm with how they're moving. They're not, you're unsure with how they're moving. And I feel like they want to be in control of things and they 
kind of want to lead you. Give me more. But then they sit back and they do nothing. For some of you dealing with a fire sign. But they do nothing with the king of wands reverse. They, they, it's almost like they confuse you. There's no action behind anything. They say that they're going to help you. They say we're going to do these things. They say we're going to have fun. We're going to go out. We're going to travel. And it's like it, there's no action behind it. Almost like you're sitting around waiting for this person to get on your level. In this case, Capricorn, for some of you, this is a general reading. So please don't fly off the hinges. For some of you, you're pregnant. For some of you, you are the main source, like I said, for money. You're the main source for income. You're the main source for all of these things. Like I said, for some of you, you're a mother and you're working. Okay. For some of you, you're pregnant in this situation, but you feel like, man, I really need to leave this situation. I need to exit. I need to leave. I'm pregnant and I can't deal with this. And for some of you, you feel like, I'm going to be sad. It's going to hurt me to walk away, but I know that I'm going to be happy once I walk away with this nine of cups. I know that I'm going to be happier. Wow. I know my kids are going to, whoa, look at this. I know my children are going to be happier. I know that this is where our blessings are going to come from. My children are going to be happy. I'm going to get everything that I deserve once I let this go. And stop waiting around. I need to cut the cord with this person. As bad as it might hurt. As disappointed as you might feel. As regretful as you might feel. You, there, you have to exit this situation. A lot of people are exiting situations this month. I don't know if it's because the summertime is rolling up. Like, I don't know. Give me more Capricorn. It's this card is sideways. It's like this. So this person isn't really noticing you. They're not honoring you. They're not making you feel, you know, they're not making you feel good. They're not making you feel your best. You're losing your confidence dealing in a situation. Also, losing your intuition as well, Capricorn. That's why there is a clearing that needs to take place. You need to clear out some things. You already sacrificed enough. But there's limitless limitless options for you. You have to free yourself out of this situation. You have to call on your inner resources, your inner magic with this magician card. Some of you dealing with the Virgo. But you have to use your magic to get out of this situation. And the person's not going to like this. It's going to cause an argument, some sort of fight, some sort of argument. Because this person can't stand without you. They're looking for you to provide and hold the roof over the head, Capricorn. Without you, there is no security because this person is not stable. And once you walk away, you end the cycle. You end the cycle. And this person is going to have to find a new way of doing things. This person is going to have to build from the ground up. Which they don't like that. They're going to feel heavily betrayed by it. But it's going to illuminate something in your situation. It's going to cut whatever this bullshit is out. And it's going to give an illumination. And it's going to allow you to take better care of yourself. It's going to allow you to see where you were going wrong. And how you can pour back into yourself and heal yourself. And it's going to reinstill hope into your situation. But you have to go through the cycle. You have to go through all of these tests in order for it to change. In order for this person to see how they're being towards you. So you have the distorted feminine card. So someone is looking at the divine feminine in the wrong light. They're not looking at it, looking at it in the right light. 
There's a lot of intimacy and sexuality with this card. So the sex is not the problem in the situation. But it might be the view of a woman or what a woman is supposed to be is what's wrong in the situation. Like this person expects you to do everything and still be a woman's woman. You know, like have you, how you have a man's man, still be a woman's woman. You got to do this. You got to cook. You got to clean. You got to take care of the kids. You have to go to work. You have to go to school. You have to do all of these things. But you still better fuck me right at the end of the night or every day. I'm expecting you to be freak of the week. But I'm not really bringing that much to the table. But it's like, how can you expect these things if there's no reciprocation? It says it's safe for you to love, but I feel like it's safe for you to love yourself and re reinstill love back into yourself, Capricorn. And then you have to free yourself. So I think you need to free yourself of the cycle that you're going through with this person. You need to make this person realize because as odd as it is, they don't realize what they're doing. They don't see that what they're doing is wrong. They just don't see it, Capricorn. They just don't see it. They have no idea what they're doing. Their views are of the distorted feminine. They're not treating you like a divine feminine. They're not treating you in your goddess energy or in your God energy. They're not treating you that way. And they have no idea that that's what they're doing because this is what they saw growing up. And so this is what they expect out of your role, out of your gender role. That's what they expect. Right, but I'm seeing once you leave this person, the passion is going to be reinstilled. They're going to be making the effort and they're going to come with a ring and they're going to come right. They're going to come right, Capricorn. They're going to come right. And you also have honeymoon at the bottom of the deck. They're going to be coming to you right. You know why? Because you're the best thing that has ever happened to them, Capricorn. And God forbid they lose you. They can't lose you, Capricorn. They can't, they can't lose you. Surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Like I said, this is limitless for you. Take risks. Clear out what you don't like. Clear out. This person is not going nowhere. They need to get their shit together, Capricorn. They need to get right. They need to become this provider, this king of pentacles, this provider, this person who helps with the bills, who um, is stable. They need to become that person and not look for it from you. It's like whoever this person is, Capricorn, they're not looking for it from themselves. They won't acknowledge themselves, but they're going to point their finger at you because it's too hard for them to acknowledge self. See, if they acknowledge their self, then they understand that they need to make a change and stop putting all of the pressure on you, Capricorn. What does this person need to surrender to that Capricorn is dealing with? They need to surrender frustration because they're frustrated frustrated because financially they're not right. Financially, they're not doing what they need to do for you, Capricorn. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dis dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. 
Yeah, because you don't have time for this crap. You're about to walk away and leave them standing right there to deal with their own shit. Which sometimes we have to do that. Sometimes you got to leave the person there and let them just be there with themselves. Be with yourself. So you can think and stop blaming and putting shit on me because that's what people love to do. Trust the universe. Like I said, you are one with the universe. You're already in that energy of understanding the flow of the universe. Trust the universe. Trust your angels. Trust your guides. Keep channeling. Keep journaling. Keep connecting with nature. Keep traveling. Don't, let, don't allow anyone to prevent you from traveling and living out your goals, Capricorn. Live. Cut the indecision. Make a choice. Make a choice and stick to it. Because you have the whole entire world in front of you, especially if you're traveling. The whole entire world. This person will get their finances right. They have no choice, especially if you leave them and you put the pressure underneath them to get right. You need to work on your third eye. Your third eye chakra. That's what you need to work on. Third eye meditations. Like I said, you're going to have many possibilities. Make sure you choose correctly. Like I said, I know that this person's going to get their act together. They're going to get their act together. So don't be surprised when they come with the ring. And your head over heels for this person all over again. Holding your heart. Or she's coming with her heart. She's coming. I want you back Capricorn. Or you're coming. Like yes. I, I, I accept you back. I love you. And then y'all are getting engaged. Okay. Sometimes you got to put the fire underneath the person's behind. Anyways, Capricorn, this is Earth Divine 360. Please don't forget to leave a comment, like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell for other videos like this. I love you very much. Like I said, you're my favorite. Anyways, until next time, Capricorn. Peace out.